Coming bros, welcome to Fight Talk Live, we're taking into the trenches, the crawl spaces, basements, kitchens, and baths, all around this big, beautiful world of ours to talk to plumbing professionals just like you. Hey there, I'm Richard Bainey, the million dollar plumber with the lovely Laura. Hello. Coming at you live from Command Central here in beautiful Indianapolis, Indiana, USA. And there's no hurricane headed our way today. No. Nope. I'm certain of it. Nope, I don't think there is. I don't think there's a All right, but we'll pray for those that are facing yeah, it. Yeah, South All Carolina, right. North Carolina, you guys are um, battening down the hatches, so hopefully right. it won't be too bad. Hopefully it's kind of like it always is. They make a bigger deal, it, and it turns out not to be as much. Isn't so that hopefully, the Tennessee? Yeah, they make a big deal out of it and get it in the turn. Yeah, so yeah, we hope so that's, hopefully the case. that's the case. If not, yeah. stay safe. All right, there we go. Hey, yeah. baby. Hey, honey. How you doing? doing All right. It's good to be on the show. All right. Hey, welcome here to Potty Talk Live, a special Plumbing Power Couple edition mm -hmm. of Potty Talk Live. Yes, we're, we're coming at you. Hey, if you're a first time uh, viewer of Potty yes. Talk Live, hey, welcome. welcome. Okay, Potty Talk Live is a plumbing talk show mm -hmm. made especially for plumbing entrepreneurs. Absolutely. All right. So, hey, if you're in the plumbing business, mm -hmm. uh, you got your only plumbing gig going, and especially tonight, hey, if you're if you're a plumbing power couple, right, mm -hmm. husband and wife, husband hey, and wife. okay, working mm -hmm. on growing your plumbing business. All right, he's in the plumbing truck. You know, she's taking the calls, mm -hmm. you know, paying the bills, that kind of stuff. Hey, we, we get it. This is we what this is all about. So about tonight. There, here. So we got, we're going to be talking tonight about mm -hmm. just because of what? It's tough. Just because your marriage is tough doesn't mean it's not working. That's right. So we're going to get to that. Stick mm -hmm. around for that here. Yes. Hey, so and share. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, we're going to say, hey, if you're watching, if you're watching live or whatever, yeah. uh, type live in the yeah, comments. Type live. If you're watching the replay, type replay. Um, also, type in where you're tuning in from. Yeah, right. if you're in the hurricane zone, if you're kind of just battening down the hatches and being safe inside, let us know. There so, we go. We got yeah. everybody watching there. All mm -hmm. right. Okay. Yeah. And also, hey, share with your friends. Okay. Yes, share, share this broadcast with your friends. Yeah. So, but come on in. Mm -hmm. Be part of the live social audience here. Uh, you can write in the comments. Fits comments in. Mm -hmm. Okay. Keep it in mind. This is a clean. This is a you know. This is a professional. All right. Show. A family kind of professional. Mm -hmm. So, you know, show so keep yes. the comments clean. If you have family, questions, is it family? I don't know. No, it's family. I don't always say it's family. To, That's the point I'm trying to make. It's kids just kind of, it? right. You <laughs> know, we, know, we all work in plumbing. It. We know how plumbing can get and how, how we can get. It's kind of a it's a dirty profession. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, okay, so anyways, all right. Can be a dirty profession, but we keep it clean yeah, here. We keep on it clean here. Live. All right. Hey, so, well, I got something before we get into yes. our thing here. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. hey, if if you are, you know, a plumbing. Power couple, PPC. okay, a PPC. Mm -hmm. All right, so you got you got your plumbing license. Mm -hmm. All right, you got a plumbing truck and the plumbing dream, a plumbing mm -hmm. power couple going. Got at your it. wife right along, okay. right along with you. All right, go for it. Mm -hmm. and it's been a great life, okay. All right, but hey, there's some things you got to know because 95 percent of all plumbing businesses fail. And maybe yeah. all right, it's tough. All mm -hmm. right, but there's some things you got to know, and we put it all down in our little e-booklet here mm -hmm. for you. All right, just but it's expensive. It's very very expensive, isn't it? No, no, it's free. F-R-E-E. -E. We'll see we get it. All right. The seven must knows to be a million dollar plumber. There it is. All there right. Is. The seven must knows to be a hey, million dollar plumber. We're kind of cut off there. Do need to, we need to lean in there? You want to lean in so you can see? You want, no, you want to see the seven must knows. Oh, well, there we there go. We'll go. show that. There we go. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. The seven must knows to be a million dollar plumber. These are seven principles you got to know to make it. All right. You got to know these things. And it's free. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's free. Just like the lovely Laura said. It is free, F-R-E-E, -E. so no excuse. Simply mm -hmm. go to www.themilliondollarplumber.com. Forward slash seven, seven, the number seven. Let's see if we can go there. I got it up can there. You do it? All right. Hey, you man, see, I'm a licensed, I'm a master plumber. <laughs> I can work this you board. Here we plumber. go. You're Look amazing. at that. That is amazing. Okay, but I was All right, talking let's, about. Let's get on to our yeah, thing. This is the fun part when I get to come on the show and. And talk about the business of um, marriage and and how to work together as a husband and wife. We work together for almost our entire um, married life. Forever. <laughs> nice. Um, yeah, almost 25 years. And, yeah, we learned a lot of things along the way. And it wasn't easy in the beginning. It was tough. It, uh, it was tough starting a business from scratch. It was tough being together all the time, having different ideas, things like that. Um, so we did figure out a few things along the way. And those are things that we like to share with our younger couples, young, younger families, and 
well, if you can learn these things long before we did, that's our goal, right? Yep, exactly right. Mm -hmm. so, so what I want to talk about tonight is just because it's tough doesn't mean that your marriage isn't working. So some people what will do you mean by that? throw in the towel. Some people, some couples will throw in the towel because like, this is just too hard. Right. It's too hard. It's too difficult. Yeah, marriage right. is tough. Um, business is exactly. tough. Business with marriage is doubly tough, right. but that doesn't mean it's not working. Right. If it's um, easy, everybody be doing it, right? <laughs> exactly. Right. Um, but husbands and wives that work together, um, are you doing what you were created to do, right? You were right. created just like Adam and Eve in the garden. They were created to work in the garden, the perfect um, garden together. And they were supposed to be together. We weren't supposed to be going totally separate ways, going um, one person, you know, going to one right. job, another going to another. Um, where you're, what you're saying by there, nine, nine and ten hours a day, right? Mm -hmm. Well, what we, we hear that we get asked a lot. Well, I can never, I can never, I can never work, can never with, work my, with my husband, right. I can never work with my wife, or mm -hmm. that just isn't normal, right? But that is the normal mm -hmm. I mean, that is normal. The mm -hmm. fact that you go different directions is is abnormal, right? And it wasn't how it was made, right? And um, you can, I mean, it, it can be done. Right. Um, just saying, just putting out there, I could never work with my husband, I could never work with my wife. That's that's negative. Fact, and and didn't you when you got married? Were you excited to be together all the time? Right. When you were dating, you always wanted to be together. Always wanted to be together. And it works out to be a powerful thing. I'm going to get in because, mm -hmm. you know, the statistics. Statistics. Like, statistics. His favorite right, word right. that you can never do, say. Do show that 95% of all plumbing businesses fail. Mm -hmm. And of the 5% that do succeed, only 97% of those just barely survive. Right. Meaning they're living paycheck to paycheck. So even if you have survived and you have this feeling like you're not making any money right. and, and certainly if your butt's still in a truck mm -hmm. you're, you're a dead man plumbing you're busy dying mm -hmm. okay but mm -hmm. the statistics also show that couples that are mm -hmm. working together all mm -hmm. right have a better chance of succeeding sure because you're you're dividing the you're dividing you know, and conquering right you have mm -hmm. different you have different abilities different mm -hmm. skills right you can bring those energies together mm -hmm. okay and you, you definitely get closer because you're working on one common goal together right. as opposed to going separate ways in the morning and not seeing each other until yeah. dinner time. You need to share those common goals, those common interests. Um, you're in the battle together, right? If you started your own plumbing company, you are definitely in, in a battle and, and trying to make it work. We um, had a um, private coaching clients this afternoon. Um, one of our favorites. We say that about Every, they're all our favorites. Oh, we got to admit, they're all our, our they're favorites. They're all our favorites. So be, yeah, they we, just we are. We, we love our... But it's fun. It's like, it's like every... Mm -hmm. uh, Plumbing power couples, okay. we love working with those. But um, the couple that we work with um, this afternoon, they're just so much fun. They've got energy and just mm -hmm. have this great attitude. And um, right now, she is working in the business, but also has a full-time job. So they're working on getting her in the business. Right. But you know that's their goal, to work together and build that together. So they've, they've set, a, set a date. They've got a goal in mind, and they're super excited about it. And it's so fun to watch and see. Love it. We yep. do love it. So so what are some of the things we face here? Yes. So working I see, together. I see you got your notes put together I do here. I have my notes. And I'm just going to kind of. I'm going to go, go with you here. I'm going to try to stay in Really? I'll say, yeah. That's not okay. going to be possible. Um, okay. You are creating something from scratch. So with yes. that comes friction, right? It's not like you're going to your job where everything's laid out and someone's either laid out the procedures or telling you what to do. You are creating something that doesn't right. exist. And that's a big deal. And that's, that's not easy. And if it was easy. Everybody would be doing it. Everybody would be doing it. So that's right. definitely going to create friction. Um, also, you probably are very different. Um, there's a, a reason that the saying opposites attract is a saying because you're, you're different. More than likely, one of you is coming at it from a kind of pragmatic um, standpoint. The other is coming at it from more of a, what would be the opposite of pragmatic? Unpragmatic. Unpragmatic. <laughs> I'm not sure what the you know, opposite is. It's kind of all over the place. Yeah. Because you find out really what happens is guys. Um, really, the business, your plumbing business, has very little to do about plumbing. Mm -hmm. And so that's another reason why most plumbing businesses fail, because right. we think it's about plumbing, but really it's about the business. Right. So you're getting in, you're both into these new waters, mm -hmm. and you're both trying to figure that out. Right. And you both are very, very motivated to figure it out mm -hmm. because because it's your family. Right. Okay. Yeah. And so. like we told a couple today, well, as soon as um, the, the wife quits her job, you are your what did you call it? The, well, you're, you, you you're burn the ship. Yeah, you, you know, burn the right? ship. There's, there's no turn. You know, there's no turn. You can always back. turn back, but there really isn't. That's a but if your attitude is right. we burn the ship, we're we're not turning back. Then by golly, you're going to figure out a way to make sure it works. You're going right. to do everything you can. Um, but creating something from scratch that doesn't exist, it's going to cause friction. And just because there's friction, just because there's disagreement, 
doesn't mean that it's not working. Right. Um, it's just figuring out a way to come together. Because you together. know what's created by friction? From the friction? Well, Diamonds. Diamonds are Diamonds. created by friction. So, yeah. So, so as you're figuring out those things out, we always say, you know, you, you get mama bear and big bear mm -hmm. headed in the same direction. Nothing's going to get in your way. Mm -hmm. But as you're trying to figure those things out, you got mama bear and, and big <laughs> you're bear. You're both bears. You know, <laughs> and, and you're kind of going mm -hmm. at it. And it's a different going at it than going at it with someone that, that work right you know yeah, someone, totally someone that's not, you know, all the emotion every back it's a, it's a different everything. kind of emotion right so right. every everything is brought, brought mm -hmm. into it right and, so and you're on. together my other point is i'm here together 24 7 continually emotionally mm -hmm. physically you're always together um you know what's going on with with jobs the wife normally is the one that's answering the phone and booking calls and and kind of dictating the schedule and i know that was one of the toughest things for you in the beginning because it felt like I was telling him what to right. do. It felt like I was being managed. Yeah, which managed by my wife. Not you know, not that it's, you know, there's already that kind of you know, it's kind of how it should be. I mm -hmm. mean, usually usually a wife is managing the household. If we're honest guys, mm -hmm. you know, we're managing the household. Mm -hmm. But then when I'm in the truck, you know, because I'm you're still in the truck and you're at that stage mm -hmm. and I'm out and now I have my wife telling me what <laughs> customer to go to, when to go to the customer mm -hmm. or that. You know, Mrs. So and So is waiting, and you know what, what, what's taking you so long, and asking those, you know, and all that kind of stuff. It's like, man, I felt like I was being managed by mm -hmm. my wife, so, which really wasn't what, what was happening, but it was just I'm, I'm carrying the that baggage. Needed. I'm carrying the baggage. Right. Like, right, you're just doing what the business. Right. You know. And when that's something that right. you you definitely just had to kind of get past, knowing that that's the role that, that I was filling, and and until your butt was out of the truck, right? You know, that made a big difference. So, I'm um, being together 24/7 emotionally. Physically, always together, that definitely causes stress. But that doesn't mean, just because there's stress, doesn't mean that it's not working. working. That's right. not what it means. Um, it just means that it, it's tough and you've got to figure out a way to navigate those waters, to solve those problems. That's right. the way to do it instead of just saying, throw it in the towel with either the business or the marriage. You know, that would absolutely not when be something. You see that stress happening, yeah. or then, right. Mm -hmm. and, and certainly on the business side, it's right. like, I can't work like this any longer. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's going to happen anyway. Right. But yeah. Yep. But then on, on a personal side, mm -hmm. um, and we'll get to that. We have a solution on what we did to mm -hmm. solve that. Okay. So. Yep. Okay. I think you have another point to make. Um. Yeah. The other one is to put away, um, the uh, two different things, guys. And you may have to say this because I don't know if it's nice for me to or it's going to come across. Bring it, baby. Well, no, tell well them. guys, here. put away the the little boy. Guys, right. put away that my buddies. <laughs> um. I want to be with my buddies right. and my buddies and I have fun with my buddies and, you know, right. I do stuff with my buddies and that those, those days for the most part are, are gone. Not to say you can never be with your friends, but your, your best friend now is the person well, that you so are you, married So you're to. telling me I can't go out, you know, stay out a little bit later and drink with, with my buddies. Yes, yeah, exactly. What, what I'm what? Telling I can't you. do that. Absolutely not. And what? wives, if your husbands are yeah. doing that, you, as I heard someone recently say, you grab them by the shirt tail, shirt tail, shirt, Shirt collar, shirt collar, and say that is not who I married. That is not advancing our kingdom or our empire. That is not the man that you are you're called to right. be. Big no no on right. that. Which I joke about that, and you, but the guys, I can look the guys in the eyes for the guys that want to listen. The guy, the guys again right. for the rest of for you boys out there, you know, which we do have boys. I mean, in the plumbing, I'm, I'm proud to be a plumber. Mm -hmm. Proud to mm -hmm. be a plumber. Sure, uh, but we we do have a lot of riff raff. Mm. You know, a lot, a lot of boys, a lot mm -hmm. of pansies out there. Mm -hmm. But but for the real men, I mean, mm -hmm. so bring it. That's what we are. Look, you got to put away the boy stuff. Okay, the days of going fishing, hunting, um, drinking, constantly, con constantly mm -hmm. right? Um, you know, hootering it up. You know, at lunchtime, the meeting the guys there and that kind of stuff. Your wife's just that, that kind of stuff has to stop. Mm -hmm. And you know, it's not just it's not a moral thing, but what it's doing is it's separating you mm -hmm. from your business. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's it's defocusing you. Mm -hmm. You can't you can't play like a little boy when you're trying to create a kingdom or an mm -hmm. empire like a man. Right. Okay. And separating you, it's it's hurting your wife's feelings. I'm just telling you from a wife's standpoint, we don't like it. We don't like if you go to Hooters and. You know, because we know what Hooters and, and those types of places are about. And boy, you know, those those ladies look perfect. And it's awfully hard to look perfect after two or three kids and after 10 years of marriage and all those things. See, right? we, we bring it here in Pine Talk Live. OK, <laughs> but, all, but all those things affect. And ultimately, the bottom line, it gets to your bottom line, your mm -hmm. business. OK, mm -hmm. so so playing those kinds of games. If you're serious about growing a plumbing empire, 
Okay, you got to put away the little boy games. Mm -hmm. Okay, and little girls have games too that they play. Which I'm we'll talking about. That. But you got to put away the little boy games, mm -hmm. and you got to become a king. Okay, of your kingdom. Right. And then you got to got to take control, and you got to step up. Mm -hmm. And and sadly, that's again, that's another reason why you know 95 percent of plumbing businesses fail because they're normally led by men mm -hmm. or boys, mm -hmm. and it just they aren't able to step up. I talk right. to I talk to guys daily. Mm -hmm. I'm talking to guys anywhere from you know early 20s to mm -hmm. 60. There are still little boys, you know, that are just, you know, little boy pansies, you know, out there. And it's, and it's sad because it doesn't have to be that way, especially if you're in a, if you have a plumbing business. All right. There's never been a better time to have a plumbing business. I'm going to go true. deep in on that. You're mm. sitting on a freaking gold mine. Right. You're sitting on. Oh, man, what happened there? We don't we know what just happened. happened. We had a major blackout. So, so but I, I treasure, that. you know, your wife having that kind of partner is a, is a it's just a treasure, just a personal treasure, but it's a treasure for the business, mm -hmm. you know, and for, for creating that kingdom. So, right. So that's that's the guy. I think we hit that kind of hard. We, we have we have emotions there because we, we get this side of it straight. It, it, the problem is nine times out of ten rests with the guy, and that's what I got to you know say. Wow. So nine times out of ten is it's, it's with the guys. It's well, I just the guy's responsibility. So I want to put okay. the you know I want guys right. to step up and take responsibility. Okay. But it's. But if it's just if you get these kinds of things correct and mm -hmm. right, and I see it, you know, I'm on the different, you know, the sites and mm -hmm. and that kind of stuff. And mm -hmm. it's just, you know, look, I, it's 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 what I'm into and mm -hmm. that kind of thing. So I'm into into the plumbing, sure. you know, mm -hmm. Facebook pages and right. all that kind of stuff. Yeah, and yeah. I just see all the all all the trash and the right. crap and the talk and mm -hmm. what what's going on. And there's guys that even have their own business. I expect mm -hmm. it from the right, you know, just regular guys, mm -hmm. you know. The sheep and the cattle, mm. you know, and the trash. But not the plumbing business so, but owners. But not the plumbing business owners. Like looking if, to... Especially when you have such a great opportunity. Mm -hmm. and if you just step it up, become a man, step it up, mm -hmm. man up, you know, man, it's such a it's such a huge opportunity. Right. So that's for the guys. Right. Um, for us ladies, we. So what? What do you ladies do? Well, we rarely do, do anything wrong. Right. It's just the way it is. Yeah. Um, but when we do do something wrong, um, we are just sometimes too needy, right? Um, gosh, well, honey, why aren't we spending more time binging on Netflix and, and watching TV or, um, honey, you need to come home. Why don't you ever come home? If you have a plumbing business and, and his butt's in the truck still, um, you know, the business right now is that it, it's, it's working if he's out, if he's out doing the job, right? Um, if he's out working, not you calling him saying, when are you coming home? When are you coming home? Your attitude yeah. really needs to be like that movie 300, which I'm just not a big fan, but I have been forced to watch it. Um, where the, the queen, <laughs> excuse me, she queen. What is her title? I don't know. I forget. But she tells when he's going off to war. <laughs> I can't say on there. I can't say. <laughs> okay. No, no. Um, when the king's going off to war, she says to her king um, to encourage him, come back with your shield or on it. And that's empowering to your husband, using mm -hmm. words that are empowering instead of tearing him down. That That's a biggie. Most of the time, guys, um, mm -hmm. um, love language, right? If you're familiar with the five love languages, most of the time, guys, love language is words of affirmation. They love to get um, be affirmed by the most important person in their life. Um, growing up, it's it's typically their dad. But once they get married, golly, it's their, it's their mm -hmm. wife. And they really want to hear those words that say, you're doing a great job. I'm really proud of you. You're working so hard for the family. That goes so much farther than other words of, gosh, you're so lazy and why don't you ever do anything? And are you ever going to take out the trash or, or those yeah. types of words? Yes, which I would never say to you. No. Um, once I finally learned yes. that his his um, love language was words of well, admiration. I have to admit, you know, I know I come with, you know, I be a little transparent. I've had time. I'm not always, you know, on it, mm -hmm. you know. And yeah, um, attacking everything in business, mm -hmm. and certainly with our plumbing business and our other businesses, mm -hmm. there's times when I'm, I'm, I'm wimping out, mm -hmm. and it, it happens to the best of us. Okay, <laughs> but I've had you, you know, it has been very, um, the lovely Lord has actually mm -hmm. said it's, it's something, um, it just gets the blood stirring and uh, it's sexy too. Mm -hmm. When, when your wife looks at you and just you know when you're kind of whining and crying, I can't get out there and do this, or they are these guys, uh, and she says, "Come home with your shield or on it." Mm -hmm. You know, there's just something powerful about that. So it's the attitude you know? of just go get it and encouraging him to be the man that, that God's called him to be, to be the man that he's supposed to be, to be the the provider and the, the caregiver um, for your family. Um, 
those are much better words than kind of tearing him down or seeing how, if you can ridicule him, especially don't ridicule your husband in front of, um, don't, well, let me back up. Don't ever ridicule your husband. That's not appropriate. Mm-hmm. But most assuredly don't ever do it in front of friends or in front of people, man, that's the quickest way to um, neuter your husband. Yeah. So you said neuter. I just say neuter. <laughs> I, can't believe I just said that, but I mean it. I mean, that just drove me crazy. It would be around, you know, friends and couples and whatever. And the one wife is just rah, 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 you know, griping about her husband and he's right there. Right. That just, oh, that would just break my heart. And I'm thinking, boy, that's, that's just not a happy home. And would you agree, at least when we, we talk honestly with, with our, the couples and the stuff, you know, and with the guys, you know, even I see in, even in our industry, even some of the, the women kind of laugh at, you know, the guys checking out the women and that kind of mm-hmm. stuff, you know, with, mm-hmm. but they don't really like it. It doesn't make another woman, certainly not your wife, comfortable no. that, that you're checking out other women. No, of and, course not. And talking, you know, TNA and, and all that kind of stuff. And you've said it before because you're, you're in the different groups um, on Facebook and um, where one post, um, a guy will post something about right. some in, really inappropriate um, picture um, of a woman. And then the next post, it was his, his daughter. His, yeah, daughter. You know, like, six-year-old daughter yeah, or whatever, a teenage thinking? daughter. And mm-hmm. it's like, are yeah. you kidding me? And yes. so if that, if that, if I just said that and that bothers you, like you want to say, who the F do I, you know, how, who am I to judge? But then you, you're the problem, by the way. And I hope that makes some of you guys uncomfortable where you're going like, yeah, that's why I don't want to behave mm-hmm. like that. Right. We're not talking about not being sexy and having fun in the relationship. It's, it's, I tell you what, it's uh-uh. awfully sexy growing a multi-million dollar business with your wife. It doesn't get any hotter than sitting next to a pool, um, half naked in Jamaica, you know, with adult beverages, a few adult beverages already in you. Well, you know, we'll go. For one. That yeah, she's like, <laughs> right. You know, <laughs> and you're saying, and you, you knowing that, you know, you built this empire together. Mm-hmm. Okay. That, there, and that, there's, there's nothing sexier mm-hmm. than that. And, and it so, took a long time to do. Right. It wasn't something that was overnight, right. but we, we did make a, a decision that that's the life that we wanted. We wanted to grow a, a right. business and, and do it together and figure those things out. And, Gosh, we it took a while, but we were able to do it. So, so, so one of the things we did, yes, through all this, all the stress we talked mm-hmm. about, so that little thing to share with what we yes, do. And yes. Maybe, maybe some of you heard us talk about this, but we have a date night date every night. Friday night mm-hmm. and have for years. years, and years all and right, years and years. Um, even when our kids were wee little, right, mm-hmm. right. There's no excuse. Don't let the kid excuse get in the no. way. That's that's another wee thing you guys do. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah, don't let don't let mommy kids. because mommy become mommy. No, you get mommy yeah. out. Yeah. Okay, get mommy out. Mm-hmm. In fact, talking to one of my guys mm-hmm. recently, um, he started getting you know doing date night. Mm-hmm. He says is amazed how m- his relationship with his wife has gotten better. Really, doing date oh, night, that's right? Fun. And, and of course, it's affecting his business as well mm-hmm. because now he has more focus on that kind of stuff mm-hmm. and not having the pressure at home right. or that kind of that disconnect, that kind difference. of stuff. So it's it's very important. Mm-hmm. So don't let the mommy excuse happen. Don't let mm-hmm. the well, we got to take the kids to all the practices happen. Um, those, those are all excuses. Mm-hmm. Okay. So guys, date, date your wife. Just date like your you wife. dated her before right. you It's your married. responsibility. Mm-hmm. And it's just, uh, and there's times I didn't want to date her. I mean, we just spent the whole <laughs> week. We had, we had a rough week. She managed me all week. At least it felt like that. And it's just, um, you know, so we didn't have any money or, mm-hmm. you know, bad things are happening. I didn't want to go out. You know, I'm mad at her, too. Mm-hmm. Um, but just getting out, it's amazing how just reminding yourself that your boyfriend, girlfriend mm-hmm. and what, what things are really all about just to kind of step back. Even if, you know, they're not, we're not talking about where you're, you know, are you going to get lucky tonight or mm-hmm. like that kind of thing, mm-hmm. even though time. <laughs> but so it it's it's just about being together. Mm-hmm. And so have a date night. Have a date night. Okay? It's so important. Um, with the kids, I, we've said it before, um, with kids, get into a babysitting co-op. If you can't afford to get a babysitter or you don't have family around or whatever it might be, um, find other people in your community, in your neighborhood, at your church that right. are in the same situation that you are. Um, get four families together and everybody um, takes a turn one one time a month. And they're the ones, they're the house where all the kids come, destroy the house you know, for that right. one night. And the other three couples get to go out. And boy, oh boy, did we look forward to that. So, um, for years, we were in a, in a babysitting co-op, and the, the one time where you had to watch the kids, that was yeah, tough. That was, was that was hell. Yeah, um, but we actually said hell because it, it is. You, that's when you say the word. Because when you, you know, yeah, don't get into a babysitting co-op with someone like um, CF from last night who has eight kids. Yeah, don't get into a babysitting co-op with CF. That would be bad. Okay. Um, get into a babysitting co-op with yeah. Everybody's got you know one, two, three kids. 
Um, and you just look forward to that. So then you know three times a month we're going to get to go out and do whatever. Maybe you just like to go for a walk. Maybe you like to go to a movie. Maybe you like to go out to eat. Whatever, whatever it is. Right. Whatever you did when you were dating and you did something when you were dating. Right. So, so do it, guys. Yep. Do it. It's your responsibility. Mm -hmm. All right. Some comments over there. Oh, we have. Um, Oh, mm -hmm. hey, here we got a plumbing power couple. Who's that? Right here, Patrick. Mm -hmm. All right, Patrick and Margaret. Working with your wife is a blessing. Mm -hmm. Amen, brother. That's right, Patrick. All right, they're a plumbing power couple out of San Francisco. Mm -hmm. Killing Get, it. Getting it done. Hey, they got you know, this stresses, facing stuff, this reality, the yeah. kids. Mm -hmm. Right. And building a, a business. Of, right, I think they're building a couple businesses. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're, so, they're busy. So, you know, it, it, there's a lot of work there. So, mm -hmm. you know, guys, you know, I see on the sites and, um, you know, thank you, Patrick. Mm -hmm. Good seeing you, brother. Um, you know, the guys talking about, um, you know, that they want to spend, want to talk to them, they want to spend time with their kids and they're mm -hmm. throwing their kids up and that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Look, the guys, it's your duty. It's a duty in a couple of things. First of all, to, to love your kid's mother, okay, mm -hmm. and to date your kid's mother, all right, mm -hmm. and respect your kid's mother. And it's a duty to grow your plumbing business. And if, you do, if you're doing all those kinds of things, you know, the fact that you show you love your kids and you want to spend time with your kids, it's all it's all crap if you're not doing these other things. Mm -hmm. And so I just want to lay that out. We got we got too much in our society, you know, allowing guys to, you know, that we, we can do this and do that and do this and do mm -hmm. that. But we need to reel it back in. Mm -hmm. And there's a responsibility that guys aren't being taught. Right. And so Take on this family. here in Potty Talk Live, coming from the million dollar plumber, mm -hmm. I'm not going to I'm not going to fall back on that. I'm not saying I'm always perfect, you know, I'm not saying I'm perfect with it, mm -hmm. but you at least got to know where the lines are. Right. Okay. And so as a man, it's your duty to grow your plumbing business. Take your plumbing business seriously. Mm -hmm. And it's your duty to grow it. All right. And to right. work it. Mm -hmm. It's a duty to take care of your wife and your kids. All right. Mm -hmm. It's a duty to love your kid's mother. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a duty, you know, to respect your kid's mother. Mm -hmm. and, and, it's, um, and it's our duty as the wives to respect our husbands, take care of our, our kids and, and um, be a positive influence on your your spouse, on your husband yep. in the business, and, and be a helper, be a helpmate. That's that's what we're right. called to do. Not talking being pushover. No. Hey, you guys, you don't want to mess with this woman here. In fact, in our business, <laughs> the guys, you know, I'm I'm known as the tough one or whatever. All right, but there's there there's stories. I mean, we ought to have these stories on. I don't want to. I mean, make me look like a pansy if they find out that you were the tough one. You were tough. But there was times when the lovely Laura. They, the guys were afraid of the lovely Laura. In fact, the word in, where our business was, you didn't piss off the lovely Laura. Okay, she was nice and it was all that, but you didn't piss off the lovely Laura. So we're not talking about women being a pushover. Uh, no, I would okay. not be considered a pushover. No, you're, you're I have no, a very long pushover. fuse. Very, right. very, very long fuse, but once it goes. Right. <laughs> Look out. Right, there's some stories. We're going to have some stories. We're, you know, we'll have some bourbon up here in one night. We'll loosen a bit and tell, tell some stories. Uh -huh. But, man. Times when she's right in, right in the guys guys face. I think we've said this before. They deserved it. So yeah, those guys yes, did. They all did. Right. All right. I was scared. Okay. <laughs> so there you have it. All, all right. right. Hey, get some good advice there. We mm -hmm. love you guys and gals. Mm -hmm. um, the opportunity for you is huge. It is fun as a couple. Mm -hmm. Doesn't mean it's always easy. Right. There's stressful things there. Mm -hmm. So you kind of hear some kind of beating on those things here a little bit tonight. Mm -hmm. All right. But you step up. You do the right things. Um, you can create the life that you always wanted to, you know, always wanted to have. Mm -hmm. Okay. You can create that life. Don't listen Definitely. to the lies. Okay. Right. Hey, and if you would like mm. to learn more about how to work together as a plumbing power couple yes. and all things mm -hmm. associated with, with operating, running and growing, most mm -hmm. importantly, yes. growing your plumbing business, your plumbing empire, your plumbing empire, your plumbing, your kingdom. Kingdom. plumbing kingdom, mm -hmm. some like empire, some like kingdom. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. I'm a kingdom guy. I, I, like, I like the kingdom. Mm -hmm. Okay. But a lot of guys like the empire. So <laughs> anyways. Right. Yes. All right. So, hey, if that's where you're at. We'd love to talk with you. We okay. Would. So you could schedule your time. You can get, learn more information. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. And simply go to www.themilliondollarplumber.com. All or right. slash coach. 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 And yeah, okay. we would love to hear from you. We would love to, to talk with here. you and, and kind we'll of show here. you, yep. talk about some of the things we learned along the way, mistakes that we made. Um, along the way and kind of help you get right. not, maybe not make those mistakes can, um, and, and get past them a lot earlier than what we did. Right. You can schedule, you schedule what you'll do is just schedule a little time with us. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's a free consultation. Mm -hmm. We'll have a conversation. All right. And go from there. So, yeah. so if you're looking for direction, looking for help, mm -hmm. all right, that's what we're here love for. So we'd love Absolutely. to help you. Mm -hmm. All right. You're okay. in the right mindset. So there we go. I think yeah. it's already, I think we, we crushed this episode we of Five Talk Live. All right, about yeah. time to flush this one. Do you feel a little um, underdressed now after our Spartan? 
thing. Oh, yeah. We, I saw it. Yeah. yeah. We're, we're all fancy. Let us know. Should we wear a suit and dress up <laughs> no, on every, every episode? Every all right. Okay. No, I do. I do feel a little bit. I miss yeah. my I miss my jug of champagne. <laughs> yeah, never do yeah, that. Okay. Yeah. All right, guys. All right. Hey, all before right. we let you go, as always, I want to remind you that you were purposely and wonderfully created, and you were created to do great things. Okay, so when you're out there doing your thing, as always, I'm like a champion. Hey, everybody.